We've been talking about uh, John of God. Uh, Ernie Chu first went to Brazil in 2002 to see John of God. He went to support a friend there, but ended up experiencing a healing of his own. John of God removed an egg-sized tumor from his back. He says he was giving no anesthesia before or during the surgery. What we're about to show you is very graphic footage of that procedure. Tirar a sífilis cada coluna. Cadê os ferramentas? So that's you lying on that table? Yes. And what were you feeling? Well, I felt in the very beginning uh, when he actually made the incision, uh -huh. I, felt, it, it, I felt a sharp pain, almost like a paper cut. Uh -huh. And then I didn't feel anything after that. I felt a lot of tugging, and uh -huh. two sharp pains. And I thought that must have been where he took the needle and, you know, the uh -huh. thread and, and there were two of them and that, so I was thinking to myself uh, where did that come from and then when I saw the videotape I realized those were when he cut the actual tumor out uh -huh. I want you all to know we spoke to uh, Ernie's doctor here in the United States and he confirmed that Ernie had a tumor on his back and that that tumor is no longer there how do you explain what uh, appears to have happened to you there? Well, I think you can't really explain it medically um, in terms of what we know, but we all know about the human body being more than just uh, flesh and blood and, and bones. We know it to be a form of energy. Did you go there as a believer? I found it was easier to believe in an invisible healing uh, for me than to have somebody actually cut take, it. take a scalpel with no with no uh, sterilization and and lying on a gurney with no hospitalization to to yeah, I have to ask you why were you willing to have that done to you because lots of things can go wrong when somebody is cutting on your back yes because apparently this tumor was close to your spine yes I didn't have any reservations by the time I went there I I uh, believed it would be a success Wow. So you saw that. H had you ever seen that before, Dr. Redeker? No. No. So how, is that, how do you explain what we just saw there? Well, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I would like to know more. It's the kind of data that I think we need to collect and I want to collect more of. I, want, I would love to talk to your doctor um, and find out more about what was known before mm -hmm. uh, the surgery. Mm -hmm. I believe it's not so much about the phenomena or the healer as much as what we do with whatever it is that happens. There's some kind of shift that has to happen for us internally, mm -hmm. spiritually or psychologically or something. And then perhaps it's even that the body then follows that in some way. Which is, what is interesting is then what you were describing. So you obviously didn't have the same kind of experience. He didn't cut on you other than the, the nose probing mm -hmm. and you still have cancer, yeah. uh, stage four cancer. So everybody that comes isn't healed. Right, that's correct. Why? I have no way to understand that. And I think that's where we need to do the research. I, I think that every case is so individual. One person can come before John of God with a particular illness and be given one prescription. The next person can have that very same illness and be given a very different prescription. It's very individual. Mm -hmm. One person can be told to go meditate in the current for days or weeks or months. It doesn't mean that there's something it's just different and we all it's the journey of a soul mm -hmm. and journey. we all are trying to use the illness mm -hmm. to learn something that is unique to our particular situation I believe I think I, what I hear you all saying is that and correct me if I'm wrong Susan he is working with whatever energy it is you are bringing to him mm -hmm. and different energies respond in different ways yeah. and not all energies even though they may have the same disease react the same 
or need the same. Yeah. So here is how Dr. Redeker uh, described his personal healing when you wrote us in the email. I just love this, and I'm going to end the show with this, and it's all for you to think about. Uh, he said, perhaps the real heart within us is not just a pump. Perhaps the real heart within us is about love and faith. Perhaps the physical body is not who we really are. Perhaps we are these invisible souls walking around and the body is just an instrument or metaphor for something we are trying to learn. Beautifully said, Dr. Redeker. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan Casey. Um, you can read more about it in uh, O Magazine, and you can read that article on John of God in the December issue of O. It's also available now on our brand new O Magazine iPad app, which is how I like to read my things now. You can check it out at the iTunes App Store. Bye, everybody, and thank you very much for talking about miracles. <laughs>